Hey there everybody and welcome to my channel. Uh, well today I've got Charlie with me. This is him right here. This is my gray squirrel and he is ready to eat. He is hungry. And so I'm going to show you guys how um, if you find a squirrel or a small animal like this, I'm going to show you how you can feed it. And you get this at Walmart. It's dog food milk replacer. And then this is, um, it's exotic pet foods I got from, um, I ordered it online, but this is some um, vitamins uh, for squirrels. It's a squirrel booster. I got this from exotic pets, but Henry makes a good product of vitamins for squirrels. This is the most important part right here, the calcium supplement. This is pure bone marrow that they crushed up. And that's what you want to give your squirrels to keep them from getting seizures because they'll have seizures. Um, they can get seizures if they get, don't get enough calcium when they're little. So it's very important that they get the right amount of nutrients and vitamins. So what I do is I, um, I got to mix everything up. And uh, I use this little cup here. And uh, I'll get a teaspoon well, about a half a teaspoon of the uh, vitamins and put in, in here. And then about a quarter teaspoon of the bone marrow and I put in there. And then I put uh, about a teaspoon of this in there. And then this right here is muscle protein. It's for bodybuilders. Uh, it's wheat protein. It's Muscle Tech, and I got this at GNC, and it's it's for bodybuilders, and it's got all the nutrients and stuff in it for bodybuilders, and it's perfect for squirrels. So this is what I give my squirrels. They make stuff at Henry's for squirrels, um, but this is it right here. I'll mix it up, and now uh, I use I use Pedialyte. Uh, instead of water when I mix this stuff So I'm opening a new bottle now But uh, I use Pedialyte and uh, guys if you don't have the vitamins and the minerals and stuff, you know um, Then I recommend that you At least get a calcium supplement. You can use Tums, uh, chewable Tums. These right here. Uh, in fact, my squirrels, they love them. You could just, the chewable kind, and you just give them one, and they'll chew it up. They love the calcium in it. They'll eat it, you know? So, um, oh, these tabs, you got to peel them up. So, uh, I use Pedialyte. Pedialyte, you can get at Walmart or your pharmacy. It's because it's got electrolytes in it and everything and vitamins and minerals and all the good stuff you need. I got need a bigger mixing bowl. I put all their stuff in here. Should have mixed this in a bigger bowl to begin with. Today's my birthday. I'm celebrating my birthday today. Me and Charlie. Charlie. He's hanging out on my shoulder. And so that's what I gotta keep him with me 24 hours a day. Seven days a week. I usually keep him in my pocket. I take him everywhere with me that I go. And I keep a bottle on me so I can keep him. I feed him every every hour. You know, I give him a bottle. He never goes hungry around me, you know. Uh, he loves to eat. He gets plenty of water. After uh, I feed him this formula, I'll uh, I'll give him some, some Pedialyte, some water after that to rinse it down. Because, you know, that Pedialyte, it might leave a bad taste in his mouth. But this here wheat protein I got, it's vanilla flavored. And so it tastes really good. I've tried it. Uh, and it tastes really good. So, my other squirrels used to love it. Now, usually when you make this stuff, you need to make it thick like oatmeal. You know, it has to be real thick. But when I first start him out, you want to water it down. 
really, 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 really good. Water it down because their body has to get used to it. They cannot just digest that thick stuff. It'll tear their stomach up. They won't be able to poop. So you gotta just kind of wean them into it and you want it to be like soupy milk. Just like that. And uh, as their body gets used to it, and when they start pooping green, you don't ever want it to be black. You want their poop to look lime green. When their poop is green, then you know you're good. They're good and healthy. That's the color that you want. If you've got black poop, it's bad. It, it, they're not getting the nutrients that they need. Here he goes. Yeah, he loves it. It's really good. It's got the vanilla flavor in there. Now, I was putting a little bit of peanut butter in there. Oh, he's tearing it up. I was putting a little peanut butter in there just a little bit. You know, just to like a little pinch of peanut butter, just a tiny bit. It's just to give it some flavor. Um, but, you know, peanuts, they're not good for squirrels. Never give squirrels peanuts. You can give them a peanut, a shelled peanut, but like only one a day or maybe two. That's it at most. It, I need to do some research to tell you guys why peanuts aren't good for squirrels, but they can eat all other kinds of nuts. Walnuts, cashews, um, I wouldn't say cashews. Well, maybe. There's a list. So I could make a more intuitive video for you guys today, but my brain's not really working that well. I have been taking care of squirrels for probably 20 years. Um, I do tree work. I have a tree service in Savannah. I've been doing tree work all my life. And uh, when I cut down a tree, sometimes there's a squirrel nest and I get a bunch of babies and I have to take care of them. Raccoons, babies, all that. And I'll I'll do it. I've never taken care of raccoons. My give those to my buddy Danny. My buddy Danny, he's a raccoon guy. Uh, but I'm a squirrel guy, and I get more squirrels than any other pet. And uh, when I get them, I'm really excited. I have several places where I've been taking these squirrels after I raise them and I release them. And uh, yeah. So I just released um, Jumper T about three weeks ago. I took him to the barn. We got a big barn uh, and a little farm with horses and stuff. And I took him there and let him go. And uh, he's hanging out in the, in the majestic live oaks. So uh, I'm very excited. I, I missed him so much. And then a uh, day before yesterday, I got a phone call and they said, Jeremy, we found this squirrel outside of our window. All right. When they do that, I just pick him up and rub his tummy. It kind of snaps him out of it. Come on. All right. Ready for some more. Now, he's very intuitive, this little guy. He, he's, I can tell by his mannerisms and his body language and see how he just grabbed the bottle? See, it's telling me he wants it. Now, if he didn't want any more, he would push the bottle away. He would shake his head. You know, he wouldn't want that nipple. You know, he'll keep pushing it away. And there's times when I need to feed him and he won't take that bottle. You know, and I, ha I force him to take it. I force him to take it. And why do I do that? Because I want him to get big and healthy and strong. Come on. So, someone's calling me. Who's 
Okay. This is the most he's ever eaten. I have to shake it up a lot because it'll settle really fast. The calcium that I put in there, it'll sink to the bottom. And the flavor, I think, separates because the stuff is thicker. So I constantly shaking it up. He's shaking. Shaking, but I'm gonna get him some. Uh, I'm gonna get him some some water. Well, not water, but I'm gonna give him some Pedialyte in his bottle so he can rinse that formula down. Here she go. This is uh, Pedialyte. So just like me and you, whenever we eat our food, you know how after you eat, you want to drink some water to wash down your food. Well, same thing with the squirrels. You know, you got to wash it down. Nobody wants a terrible aftertaste of food in your mouth. You know, so you need a little bit of water to wash it down. And I'll always give them a little bit of water. You know, I'm, I'm their handler, that's what they call call me, or people that handle pets, they call them handlers. And uh, I would consider myself a good handler. And I think about this, uh, if I was a squirrel, how would I want my handler to be, you know? How would I want my handler to treat me? So... This little guy is spoiled. You want some more, baby? Want some more, Charlie? I named him Charlie. Now, if he didn't want that thing, he would let me know. But he's still taking it. You want it, baby? You want some more? Let's see how he turned his head. He's like, ah, no, I'm good. <laughs> all right, so. All right, that concludes today. This is Charlie. Now, uh, this is the other part I want to show you guys. It's very important. Um, all right, so they have to digest their food. And so once their stomach gets used to this, um, when they don't have hair, you can really see it, but they'll have little veins in their stomach. And you can see the food. You can see the food digesting in their stomach when they don't have hair on their stomach. And you can rub the food in their little vein and you can push it down and it'll poop out. And so a lot of times they can't digest this food. So what you have to do is, and I'm going to show you guys an example. You have to rub their tummy like this and this helps them use the bathroom. See? And they'll poop. I usually use a little napkin or a baby wipe. 
but you can see it's stimulating the nerves in his legs. He's clenching my little fingers with his, with his toes and he's grabbing. I can tell whenever he's trying to poop because he'll, he'll grab my hands really hard like he's doing now, see? So he can squeeze and then he'll use the bathroom. But you just kind of got to take your finger and push down real lightly. And then he'll use the restroom. And you got to keep doing this until he uses the restroom. Otherwise, his little digestive system, I've seen him get little bubbles and knots in their tummy where they couldn't digest it. So, you guys, um, that's the hardest part of this is getting them to use the bathroom. And you got to watch them and make sure that they're using the bathroom and digesting their food. All right, well, so you guys play. Hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I got a lot of cool drone videos and stuff. You guys like to see all my stuff that I do. I cut down trees. Um, so I love you guys. Be safe out there and wish me a happy birthday.